Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Kryn. I'm Baron and we could enter Darkguard Keep now and use the magical word of entrance we learned in Voicewood or we could try and be sneaky and enter Darkguard Keep through a secret tunnel from the Cerberus Graveyard and maybe we can surprise lots of that way. Haha <laughs> yeah, fair chance. The graveyard lies before you restore to its prior serenity. The wall on this fence radiates goodness. Okay, so if you remember there was this tunnel here. This coffin is locked shut. Use the realize key to open it? Yes. Bats swarm out of a dark tunnel leading far underground. Will you enter the tunnel? Yes. You emerge from the tunnel under a gigantic throne. You realize that you have entered Dargard Keep. As the last party member leaves the tunnel, a hidden mechanism slams a panel over the entrance. Try as you might, you can't re-enter the tunnel. Good thing it didn't do that with half of the party still in the tunnel. That would suck. Okay. A woman approaches from the shadows. She explains her presence. This is recorded as journal entry 57. Lenore's introduction. My name is Lenore. The woman's dress hangs in tatters as she nervously picks at the threads. I'm I'm looking for m food or money for my family. Her jaw stiffens. I have a right to steal from this place. Sos minions killed my husband and our children need to eat. Her anger fades and a haunted expression returns. I don't dare enter any further than the first floor. If you are wise, you won't either. You tell Lindor of your mission. Um, is that wise? To tell a stranger of our mission? In Dargard Keep? Oh well. May I follow your team just for a few hours? She asks hesitantly. I'll be safe behind you and I can search the bodies of those you slay for money or rations. In exchange I'll help you as much as I can with my knowledge of the keep. Will you allow Lenore to remain with the party? Yeah. Lenore thanks you but cautiously remains in the shadows a few steps behind the party. But you surely picked a dangerous place to go, you know, for to steal stuff. Okay, and I wanted to show you the items that I got. Um, there's nothing new here. Randy Spears got the longsword plus four and another scholar of protection from Dragon's Breath. Uh, I still have the one from Champions of Crindo. Nothing new for Sylvia Saint. Nothing new for Zara White. Um, and we now have uh, 97 dots plus three. And one of dart I picked up uh, a few videos earlier turned out to be a dart of hornet's nest. It's probably going to poison somebody. But it's only one dart. Hmm. How much good is that going to do? And um, Kobita actually got a potion of invisibility. Not that useful if you ask me. I mean improved invisibility would be nice because you still get that bonus after you, at you attacked. But that effect of the invisibility is gone after you attacked. So it's useful to position your party without the enemies seeing you, although some monsters can see through that shit. I don't really use that that often. Or at all. Okay, let's take a look at the area. <coughs> okay, we're done here. Maybe... No... And camp... Leonor speaks, I'm sorry, but I must leave now to check on my children. I'll try to re rejoin you later. Allow me to escort you safely home, my lady, Durfie says. I'll rejoin the rest of you soon. Durfie leaves with Lenore. What the fuck? Um. Awesome. Why do you leave me? Right now, where I might need you. A young maid is here, sweeping the same section of the floor again and again. Her body is rigid with fear and her eyes are lowered. What do you do? We talk to the maid. The maid looks around anxiously, then presses a key into your hand. Help us! Our quarters are on the western side! She runs away. Um, great. I really like how Durfee left me here. I mean, he was with us for hours, and now in Dark Art Keep, when the shit really hits the fan, he goes? I mean, that Lenore girl is a little young for you, isn't she? But those doors are well shut, awesome. You face a row of ancient barracks. They've clearly been vacant for ages. 
Dirty straw is filled in the corner of this old barrack. It looks like this room was used as a temporary prison. Search the straw? Yes. You find a small tarnished amulet. It's worthless, but you see the initials SA engraved on the back. Like, Sabers asked more. Okay. So we move on. And um, actually go to the other side, I think. On second thought, um, let's go in here. You unlock this door with the key the maid gave you. These are the servants' quarters. They cluster around you, pleading, please help us. They explain their problem. This is recorded as Journal Entry 22. Um, servants of Soth. We were once citizens of Cerberus, the barmaid begins. Soth brought us here to serve his minions. We don't know if our families even know what became of us. Another barmaid interrupts. One of Soth's head minions keeps us here under Aegeus. He calls himself Commander. She sneers in disgust. The first barmaid continues. The commander's magic is focused in an orb he keeps in his chamber. Break the orb and the Gs will be lifted. No, the second contradicts. You must break the orb and kill the four patrols on this floor. Only then may we go free. Anyway, the first finishes. The commander's quarters are closely guarded, but we located a secret passage that leads directly to the orb. The entrance is directly ahead. Please, smash the orb and kill the patrols. Okay, how many patrols? Four. Okay. The passage in the north wall leads to the orb. Once you smash it and kill the patrols, we'll be freed. That's a good thing. So we encamp and save and get a copy of protection. 9, Civilization 10. Shit, that's a new one. Okay, let's look it up. 9, Civilization, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would be shops. It is. No, exit, moving on. Badum, this small room contains the commander's belongings. Before you lies an orb radiating intense evil. You smash it to the ground, destroying it utterly. That's nice. Guards close in on you. Oh, really? Ow. Oh, flash golems. Spectres. Can you turn? Yes, you can. Awesome. Dragonlands, flash golems. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Move. Maze of disruption. Yeah, why not? Maybe not. It's not a flash golem. Apparently, it doesn't count as undead. So maybe um, we use the long sword plus four. Ooh, twenty, yes. Good night. No, we will not continue. More guards are approaching quickly. Will you retreat? No. Turn. I don't retreat.
Oh, you son of a bee. So if it would have really been helpful in here. Oh well, we can continue without him. How about we encamp and fix? And save. And move on. We still need to destroy four patrols. Um, where are we anyways? Okay, we are here. You hear patrol approaching. We attack it. Vampire patrol attacks. Well, we attack the patrol actually. Um, what do we do now? You know, I don't want to really fuck around here. You cast a magic missile on him. Vampire mage is going down. You could try to turn. Doesn't work, as I thought. You move in here and strike this one. You're down to 13. This calls for another magic missile. The mage is dead. And since vampires surely are undead, the maze of disruption should do wonders against them. Kobita is unaffected. Missed. Good riddance. That, my friends, was the first patrol. How about we encamp and save and continue. Take a look at the area. Oh, we're here again. Here are the doors that are welded shut again. That leads to the servants quarters. What do we have here? We don't, well, that's just, a oh, this guard room overlooks the drawbridge. You hear patrol approaching. Oh, I didn't want to hide. Ah. Mages turned their werebores loose on you. Actually, I wanted to attack. Um. You know what? Ice storm, baby. Because I don't want the mages to do anything stupid like casting a spell or something. Good night. Hey, you're using my darts. I don't approve. Good night. Oh. That's it. Thank you. Treasure. What do we get? Probably more darts. Yep. And the braces are probably just braces. AC6. No, I don't want it. We just encamp and fix. And save. I don't need to rememorize that ice storm. I have enough of that. So we have two patrols under our belt now. There's nothing in here, apparently. But I guess we have to go through here.
The drawbridge controls are here. You hack at them until the drawbridge can no longer be raised. You may now enter and leave the keep freely. Ha ha ha, no longer trapped. Good. Those doors are still welded shut though. Uh, maybe we should encamp and uh, save. And Durfee is missing out on all the fun. I hope you're happy now. You hear patrol approaching. We attack. It's the third approach. Uh, uh, attack. Uh, patrol. The third patrol. We need to kill four. Turn. Nothing happens. Turn. Nothing happens. You cast a fireball. One, two, three, here. Um, you know what? How many hit points do you have? Eleven. I don't like spectres because because they might actually level drain us. Good riddance. Okay. Now that we've had our fun. We can go. No, not yet. Two hit points. Oh, minus three actually. Hmm. No treasure, but we did fight our third patrol. Moving on, um, which way do we go? Um, okay, so we go. Yeah. To the servants' camp. The servants wait anxiously for their GS to be lifted. Don't worry. I have things under control. Almost. You hear a patrol approaching. We attack it. Wraiths and Vertigers move in for the kill. Or we move in for the kill because we attacked it. You turn. Nothing happens. Shit. Um, since they are undead. This calls for the Maze of Disruption. Race Disrupted. Wraith Disrupted. Wraith goes down. You have 28 hit points. This calls for a Magic Missile. Aww. That was so unnecessary. Good riddance. You're not turning, uh, draining our levels. That's it. Why don't you have your darts equipped? But I highly doubt you can do anything with your darts because. Yeah, you probably need magical missile weapons. It's really not worth the trouble. So, well... Good night. Oh, really? Good night. And we're finished. Well, we don't really get magic springs. Magic shimmers in the air, you hear? Distant cheering as the servants realize they've been freed of their GS to serve. 
you gain experience. Let's return to them. A few servants meet you here. Thank you for lifting the GAs, forcing us to serve in the keep. Take this, they hand you a skull. It belonged to the commander. Oh, you killed the commander? He values it highly. Oh, not not like that. <laughs> okay, it was not the commander's skull. They leave. Um, yeah. How about we encamp and fix and save? Moving on. Kobe Tai can gain a level, that's awesome. The closet is empty. I know because I was here already. Um, yeah. Well, the question really is, what do we do now? We could go through here and um, we could go up here again. Sus throne room. Room is now a cave of rotted tapestries and cobwebs. Something seems strange about the wall to the northeast. Okay. An ancient chandelier lies in ruins here. You see. Oh well. I move too fast. Sus throne sits here. An immobile panel before it blocks a dark passage. An indentation in the top of the throne is skull shaped. The skull ser the servants gave you fits in the indentation. Use it? Yes. A hidden mechanism rumbles and the panel slides aside, exposing a secret tunnel. Enter the tunnel? No. But we could leave now. That's always good. What was something seems strange, yeah we had that and here Oh we don't get the message again. I guess you have to, uh, you know, rewind the video and stop it to read it. Okay, let's see. Um, so I said something about the northeast wall. Oh, see, there appears to be... Well, it doesn't show, but there is a secret passage, a secret door here. You hear many voices chanting in the room ahead. What do you do? We enter! A group of clerics are conducting a ritual in this altar room. As you enter, they turn and attack. No shit. That's what you do. You do things. Boom. Cast a fireball. Why not? To keep them from doing shit. One. One, two, three. Oh shit. Oh really? It doesn't work like that. Missed. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Night. So let's see. Nine and twenty four. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Good night. 4,781 experience points and treasure. What do we get? Uh, we probably don't need that. Thank you. We go. No, I don't want it. The priests lie dead around you. Something glimmers on the altar against the eastern wall. Lying on the altar is a huge sword. Take it? Sure. 200 experience points, yay. And you actually take a 200 sword. That's nice. The altar is bare. We fix. And save. And move on. So there's a door here. Let's take a look at the area. Oh, that leads back to that central room here. I don't need that. So, no. Exit. Exit. Area, move. We use this door then. Dusty covens fill the room. Muffled cries and thumping come from within one in the southwest corner. Really? This coven is fast and shut from the outside. A weak voice within begs for help. Open the coven. Yes. A vampire bursts out of the coffin. The other's coffin in the room open. There's nowhere to run. 
Oh shit. This sucks big time. You could try to turn. Nothing happens. I don't kid around here, I use a fireball. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm, that it wouldn't hit the, the other one. Oh, well, fuck. Better to take the damage than the level drain. No, thank you. That was easy. We encamp and fix and save and move on. What do we have here? A curving staircase leads to the second floor of the keep. Climb the stairs? No. I say we climb those stairs in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.